Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back again, thank you so much. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I've been moving from California to Texas. As you can see, I have a brand new kitchen. It's very messy. <laughs> um, but anyway, in today's very first video that I'm making for you guys in my brand new kitchen, it's coming out of this cookbook. <laughs> I had it turned the wrong way. Anyway, Fresh Eggs Daily Cookbook by Lisa Steele. Guys, this cookbook has so many amazing recipes in it. I've already written down 20 that I'm gonna get started on making for you guys. And the first one that I'm making today is gonna be Get out of the glare here. Maple bacon Scottish eggs. So they're not just your ordinary Scottish eggs. They got maple syrup in them and also some bacon mixed in with the sausage. So they are so delicious. They are absolutely my new favorite and I'm so excited to make them for you. So let's get started. Okay guys, I'm adding one pound of sausage to my food processor. I'm adding four slices of bacon, cut up. Now I'm gonna be adding some cardamom and nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon each. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of real maple syrup. If you don't have real maple syrup, that's okay. Did you know that maple syrup that you buy in the store, if you look at the ingredients, it actually is just corn syrup. Check it out sometime. Okay, now we're gonna put the lid on it. Okay, it took me a minute to get my food processor figured out because I put a mini bowl inside of this big bowl. So it took me a minute. Anyway, here we go. Let's pulse the uh, sausage, bacon, maple syrup, cardamom, and nutmeg. There we go. We're gonna add six eggs to our boiling salted water. Make sure to always boil your water first. Okay, we're cooking soft boiled eggs, so that will be six and a half minutes. Echo, start a timer for six and a half minutes. Six minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, we're gonna take the lid off. And. Okay, I have my meat all pulsed up in my food processor and I'm gonna set this aside for a few minutes and we'll get back to it in a minute. I've decided to go ahead and put my sausage and bacon mixture in this bowl. There 
we go. Echo cancel. Okay, I'm going to take our eggs and I'm going to drain them and pour some ice water over them to stop them from cooking. Okay, that's going to stop the cooking process. We want to have nice, soft yolks and cooked whites. Okay, now we're going to whisk two eggs. I really love these eggs I buy. They're called happy eggs. Really delicious. They always have a very rich yolk. Hopefully within a month or so, I will be having my own chickens with my own eggs. That's my goal and my dream. Okay, got our eggs all whisked up. Okay, now we're going to put some flour, one cup to be exact, in a shallow bowl. And we're going to add some pepper and some salt. You know, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. That is actually a half a cup of flour and one cup, of course, breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm gonna combine the salt and pepper with the flour. Okay, we got our eggs, they've all cooled down, and hopefully they're gonna peel nice and easy. This is exactly how I like my eggs to peel. Just like this, perfect. And you know why? It's because of the ice water and it's because of the salt. Perfect. You know, guys, I have to confess, I may have cooked these eggs a little too hard. The yolks have to be very soft and a little bit runny, and I can tell they're a little firm. So I may have to use these for egg salad sandwiches and cook six more eggs. They have to be perfect. Okay, there's our six soft boiled eggs, and we will be wrapping those up in our sausage, bacon, and maple syrup and spices mixture. Okay, now we're gonna put some saran wrap down. This is what we're gonna put our meat mixture on and flatten it out so we can shape it around our soft boiled egg. Okay, I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of my meat mixture down. And I'm gonna wet my hands, that way it won't stick to my hands. Okay, we're gonna flatten down our Sausage and bacon, cardamom, nutmeg, and maple syrup. That's what we got. I'm going to take our egg, roll it in the flour. Shake off the excess. Okay, we're going to lay our Egg down. Mm. 
using my saran wrap, being extra careful not to break our egg. Pinching. Like so. do the rest of the eggs the same exact way. Okay, so we're going to pat it out. Like that. I made this recipe yesterday for the very first time. It's in a cookbook that I have. It's a cookbook that's all about eggs. I'm actually gonna tell you about the cookbook when the video's all the way over. But anyway, I was able to taste these yesterday and oh my goodness, are they so delicious. Make sure we close them up here, pinch all the edges so there's no holes. And voila, pretty perfect. Got my egg dipped in flour. Pitching all the edges together. These things are so delicious. I can't make wait to make them for my family. My family's not here. They travel and work. So I'm here by myself making these beautiful Scottish eggs for you guys and you guys alone. Beautiful. Okay, guys. I have the other three sitting over here on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in some flour, some egg, and some panko breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna fry them up. And boy, are they gonna be delicious. Okay, now we're gonna take our meat here. We're gonna roll it in the flour first. Like so. Make sure we get it all covered. Shake off the excess. Put it in the egg. Roll it around. And the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna press the breadcrumbs in. Cannot wait to have one of these. They are so delicious. Make sure we get the sides. Just 
Clean it up, get this part. That looks really good, perfect. See that? And we're gonna do that with all six. Okay, so last one. Make sure you press the panko breadcrumbs into the sausage rolls. These are ready to go into some hot oil. We're gonna heat three to four inches of oil. You can use a heavy pot of your choice. I'm gonna use my cast iron Dutch oven. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do three to four inches of oil. I'm actually using avocado oil. I'd say that's about three to four inches. I have this really cool instant thermometer. I'm gonna actually use this to test my oil temperature, and I think it's about ready. This thing is called Lightning Pie Thermo Pro. When you Open it up, turns on, and it gives you an instant read. Let's see what we got. Okay, I think it's probably about ready. Let's see what it says. See that? Man, it takes quite a while to heat up some oil here today. Okay, we're looking for 330. By the time I grab them, bring them over here and put them in, it'll be good to go. I'm gonna fry these three at a time. I'm actually gonna save the other three and cook those at a later date. Since it's just me, I don't wanna eat six of these. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna cook these on three minutes, four or three minutes, and then flip them over.
Well, here we go. Let's give it a try and see how they taste. Hey guys, well, this is it for this video. Here's my beautiful Scottish eggs, actually maple bacon Scottish eggs. I have to lean down like this because of my camera. So anyway, let's go ahead and cut into these and I'm hoping that the eggs are gonna be cooked perfectly where the yolk is soft. Let me show you. This is the book, Fresh Eggs Daily Cookbook. This is the recipe. That's what we're going for. Okay, you ready? Let's see. Not too bad. That could be a good thumbnail. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to take a bite because I'm going to use this for my thumbnail, I think. It looks perfect. Okay, guys, I'm just going to take a big old bite of these. They are so delicious. Crunchy on the outside. So much flavor. The egg is delicate, delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, 